Nikki. Be careful, she might hit you in the butt. <laughs> I'm not. You need You're to ruined the butt. <laughs> Algebra causes brain damage in rats. See, that's only if you study for the test. <laughs> then I'm totally safe. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> hey, Stace. Oh, hey, Tiff. Nice skirt. Yeah, thanks. I wore that when I was six. <laughs> <laughs> you like that skirt, don't you, Nessa? <laughs> Five pounds ago, yeah. Oh, shut up. You have the hottest bod. Five pounds ago, yeah. Stacy, major brawl on the basketball court. Like, blood and everything. <sighs> Guys are so stupid. And violent. Yeah, Ezra's pounding Tony pretty bad. Ezra is such a little weasel. Guy has the mental capacity of like a twig. Yeah, nice hair though. Yeah. Ezra, I'm cool, I'm cool. Cool. That's cool, right? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we cool, right? Okay. Hey, Tony. Hey. You kick serious spot? I guess it wasn't really like that, though. Well, Nikki was thinking Dynasty Warriors. I was thinking more that Greek guy from Troy. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> what? You have, like, a footprint on your forehead. <laughs> Hold on. Thanks. Tony? Now. All right. Later. See you. So, are you sure your parents are cool with this? I hate insist. They know Stacy and I are tied, and you threw a birthday party last year. No, I may be able to get them to rent Club One Five. She's, she's coming. Oh, that would be so <laughs> amazing. Okay, I'll handle the list, but I may need you to invite Tony, since you two are so close. Yeah, it's fine. What's up? Nothing, just talking about the new Orlando Bloom movie. Oh. Again, move on. He's so over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the dork squad convened by the compost pile. <laughs> Excuse me, Hobbit. This is ours. It's really nothing personal. It's just, um, this table's invitation only. Oh, well, um, clearly she's a mute with bad shoes. <laughs> can't believe it. My club soccer team is recruiting new players. True. I think you'd be great. Think about it. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what was she thinking? <laughs> Truth, I think you'd be great. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. <laughs>
Vanessa. Hey. I saw you guys practice. You rocked. Thanks. <laughs> kind of like that Beckham movie. I'll oh, bend it like Beckham. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a total chick flick, that's all. <laughs> no, I think that's very cool. Really? Yeah. Look who thinks she's all that. <laughs> no big deal. Come on, let's go. I saw that movie like five times. Are you serious? Yeah. I had to go with my little sister, you know, just so the guys wouldn't talk yeah. smack. Oh, Whoa. don't worry, I won't say anything. I'll keep it on the down low. That's my mom. I gotta go, but I'll, I'll catch you later. Okay. Um. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, um, I'm actually supposed to tell you that you're invited to Stacy's birthday party. Are you going? Yes. <laughs> well, then I will too. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Didn't you guys like hear me calling you? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. So what's going on? You guys want to come over? <laughs> <laughs> Plus one. Okay. Forget anything in girl style. Every dork and her mother will be wearing it. Hey, did you see how Nessa flirted with Tony? She was all over him. I mean, doesn't she know he's yours? Whatever. She's not mine yet. I love it. <laughs> That's all you're trying on? You know, my closet's so full right now. Oh, try this. No, it's just for fun. Um, day play, pretty in pink. Dare to be there, darling. <laughs> okay. Very Britney. Yeah, they're 125 bucks on sale. <laughs> what do you expect? They have the latest ultra low rise. Well, if you don't want them, let me have them. Oh, bag those separately. They're a gift. Are you serious? Yeah, I told you they look great. <laughs> Thanks. That will be $648.89. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Damn. Um, I forgot to pay for this. And I hate to get back in that long line. I'd stuff it in my purse for you, sis, but mine's as small as yours. No, guys, I don't know about this. Well, there's no security tag on it. I do it for you. so cute on you. 
I felt kind of funny, though, letting Stacy pay for it. Well, sometimes it's more awkward to refuse a gift. Just look at it as Stacy's way of saying that she loves you and that you're her best friend. Yeah, well, me and Nikki. Hey, Mom, do you still have any friends from when you were my age? No, I wish I did. Ugh. Do I look fat in this? Oh, yes, ginormous. Put this on and cover yourself. You are so mean right now. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. Oh, my gosh, I would have died. No, seriously, died. I mean, what do you think he was doing, conducting an archaeological dig in your mouth? <laughs> seriously, his tongue was darting in and out like he was trying to puncture my face. <laughs> I thought 16-year-olds knew how to kiss. OK, you go. OK, well, it wasn't like anything major, but there was this really hot guy, and his name was Tim. And we kind of went out for like most of camp. I mean, well, he was really into indie rock, but he was only like a year older than me, so. And? And what else do you want to know? Just the dirty details. OK, at least give me numbers. Well, OK, definitely one and two, but. And a little three, but I'm, I'm so serious. You cannot say anything. I even made him promise. I won't, I promise. <sighs> not even Nikki. I swear I will not tell a soul. You know how many carbs there are in that? Psh, whatever. I am so stressed. Mm, the English paper, I know. Have you started yours yet? No. And my parents are acting like I am going to college tomorrow. They're driving me crazy. Yeah, my dad is like constantly on me as if it be means I'm failing. I know. OK. The lowest GPA has to do whatever we say. No way. Tough. Add them up, sports fans. 3.75. That's genius. I fold. Huh? Let's see, Nessa. Mm-mm. No. Well, come on, how bad can they be? Straight A's. 4.0. Nice work. Plus honors? I am so proud of you. <laughs> Let the gray geek be the loser. <laughs> what should we make her do? Um, she buys next round. Oh, that's weak. I know. This is boy, and lovesick over here is like obsessed with Shut up. Shut up. You know, I think it'd be good, you know, if you put in a good word for her. No, totally. Who is it? No. Don't you dare. No. No. It's Tony. You know, just let him know that um, if you ask Stacy out, she'd go with him. I mean, you'll do that for her, right? <laughs> Would you? Of course you will. You're a best friend. So do it for her. Of course, anything, yeah. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Vanessa is a joy to have in class. Vanessa is, Vanessa does. Who is this girl they are talking about? Oh, thanks a lot, Mom. <laughs> Great work, baby. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You should fax this to your dad. I did. Um, he called me. Yeah, I bet he's really proud, huh? Yeah. Um, him and Claire want me to spend the summer in Spain with them. Oh, well, that's nice. Do you want to go? Yeah, um, if it's OK with you. Yeah, it's fine with me. Hey, maybe you'll pick up the language, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's celebrate. Why don't I take you and Stacy out to someplace really nice, huh? <sighs> Mom, I don't think Stacy wants to celebrate my grades, OK? Isn't her birthday coming up? Why don't we just plan something? Yeah, um, Nikki's parents are doing that. How did that happen? I, I don't know. I guess they thought it was too expensive. Well, it's not. Why don't we just do it together? I'll call Nikki's mother Mom, and we'll like just... Mom, that's like the worst idea ever. She doesn't want your help. Gosh. What did I say? Vanessa! Uh, 
I don't get it. Why are you pushing Stacy on me? Because she really likes you. She's cool and all, but I'm not into Stacy. <laughs> oh. Tiff. Do you wanna, like, go out sometime? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe she would do that to Stacy. What a slut. Oh. <laughs> and her clothes were hideous. <laughs> and I was looking at her hairstyle and it was horrible. And I was like, who did your hair? The gardener? <laughs> hey guys. Oh, come on, Nick. I know you got an SUV for an ass, so just park it in one spot. There's plenty of room over there. <laughs> Slut. Come on, guys. Stace? Talk later. You need a ride tonight? Aren't you and Stacy going to the movies? What happened? Did you two have an argument? She hates me. Come on, Stacy loves you, honey. Would you do something to upset her? God, Mom, no. Not even tease her or maybe be a little critical or something like that? Mom, I didn't do anything. Gosh. Okay. Well, whatever it was, baby, I'm sure it'll pass. That just happens sometimes with girlfriends. for a pushy client. Hi. I've got some roast chicken if you're hungry. Oh, I'm starving. Thanks. So listen, I was thinking of putting copper plating around the base. Look at that. Hmm. You don't think it'll require too much upkeep? No, no. The patina will be really lovely. Well. You know, it's so silly. What? I think that Stacy and Vanessa had an argument. <laughs> oh, you know how things go at that age. They all sort it out. Well, that's what I told Nessa. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. No, certainly not. My God, I wouldn't be their age again for all the money oh, in the world. Me either. OK, what are the three components of a nucleotide? Someone? Come on, you guys, we just went over this. Yes, Vanessa. Um, 
a phosphate group, deoxyribose, and a nitrogenous base. Um, adenine, guanine, cytosine. Thymine if it's DNA. And thymine is replaced with uracil if it's RNA. Very good. OK, so we're going to move on. So we all know DNA is a long fiber. It looks sort of like a hair, only thinner and longer. They stick together, and then they sort of twist. Proteins then attach to the DNA and help the strands coil up into a complex Missed the action in English today. Nikki was Moby Dick. We needed somebody to stick a harpoon in her ass. You know why they keep dogging you? Obviously, I did something to Stacy. I just don't know what it is. They do it because they know it gets to you. I call them the white tornadoes because they destroy whatever's in their path. And it doesn't bother you? They don't have anything that I want. So you want to come with me to club soccer? Um, I'm kind of busy, thanks. Yeah. Want to see our idea for the yearbook cover? I got emails from your coach and your biology teacher, Mrs. Donnelly. They seem to think you're upset about something. They need to get over themselves. Are you and Stacy still having trouble? It's mostly Nikki. She's such a bitch. Sorry. She's like poisoning Stacy and the other girls against me. Over what? I don't know. Well, have you asked Stacy what the problem is? Mom, talking to her is only going to make her matter. She'll say I'm overreacting. Well, what if you tried not to take it so personally? Mom, it is personal. They hate me. Stacy's an important friend. She's your best friend, honey. Why don't you just try and talk to her, huh?
Hey, Stace, check this out. Me and Tiff busted out a rhyme. Nessa was a nice girl, now she's a slut. A dumbass bitch with her head up her butt. <laughs> Hits on Stacy's boy, cause she thinks she's all of that. Gives up her best friend, quick as a rat. Used to brag straight A's, now it don't matter, cause we're Stacy's crew, and we're coming hot at her. She's a real bitch, isn't she? You will not believe what happened. What? Ezra actually called Nikki and asked her out. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> the boy is delusional. Did she tell him to dream on or something? Well, I think she wants to torture him for a few more days. Oh, that is so Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Stace, are you mad at me? What? It's no way. Oh, well, because, you know, what's been happening at lunch and what's been going on? Nessa, you, know? you are too sensitive. You just... You get all dramatic and you overreact. So you're not mad? Are you kidding? Nessa, you are my best friend. And I'm sorry I made you feel that way. Really? Absolutely. Please forgive me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Great. And I forgive you too. For what? I mean, look, I'm really sorry if I did something, just what I do. Well. When you bragged about your grades being better than mine. And when you flirted with Tony. No, I didn't hit on Tony. No, I was talking about you. Oh, whatever. I, um, I know yes you out. Yeah, but I said no. No, you didn't. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Seriously, I'm over it. It's not a big deal. Best friends? Best friends. <laughs> <sighs> That's one thing we don't need to stress about. Oh, hey, I totally did not get that English assignment. Have you started yours yet? Yeah, that was, that was actually really easy. Well, I mean, could I look at yours just, you know, to get some ideas? Sure, totally. I'll, I'll email it to you tonight. Okay, thanks. Okay, I have to go, but we'll talk later tonight online, okay? Okay. Okay. Is Nessa helping you plan the party? Sort of. Nikki and Tiff are doing most of it. So where is Vanessa? I haven't seen her around here in a while. I see her. I just, not a lot lately. She's friends with this girl, Emily, now. Oh, well, that happens. She's a great kid, though. Mm-hmm. Did something happen between you two? Come on, baby, please. You love this. Come on. I can't eat all this by myself. You know, you got a very weird phone call today. Yeah. From some weight loss clinic. What? They said you signed up for their program. No. So you didn't sign up? What? N no, Mom. So that's why you took me to dinner? Of course not, Vanessa. You're not the least bit overweight. That's why I'm asking you. They did it. 
Who? Nikki, probably Tiffany. I'm calling their parents. No, Mom, if you make one phone call, I swear I won't talk to you again. Well, Vanessa, I have to do something. No, you don't have to do anything. I'll handle it, okay? And she's so sensitive. Like, you have to tiptoe around her or she'll freak out. I mean, if you don't like her outfit or something, she will practically burst into tears. <sighs> that kind of relationship takes so much work. It's exhausting. Tell me about it. This isn't just about that boy. No! All the girls are tired of it. Everybody. Son, listen, this is important. Girls are brutal. They hurt each other's feelings and tear each other to bits over the smallest things. Guys, smack each other and then go get a beer. That's because men have no feelings, dear. <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I play basketball. And basketball guys are much more fun. And we were down by two, they had the ball. So they inbounded, I intercepted the pass, threw it down for it, Ezra got a shot off at the buzzer, and we won the game. So let's just say the Tigers will not be at the playoffs this year. <laughs> They're gone. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Something else really nice. I don't know if you've ever seen a hamburger. <laughs> hey, Stace. Hi. Excuse me. There is no excuse for you. Can you believe it? It's like you eat a reservation these days. Yeah. All that food must weigh a ton. Mayor of Planet Frisball. Yeah, she's like a chia pet. Oh my gosh, she's getting like so unbelievably porky. Her hair is the size of Texas, and her ass is like Canada. <laughs> yeah, I bet she had to gain a whole bunch of weight just to balance her ton of hair. I mean, did she honestly expect us to believe that Tony would come on to her over Stace? <laughs> and she's like a total gray grubby geek. Like, hello. Colleges don't care if you did extra credit in middle school, but they might care if they knew she shoplifted. <laughs> her mom's poor. I mean, if she hadn't been Stacy's charity case for the last year, all of her clothes would be from bins. <laughs> yeah, and we all know she's like a totally famous camp slot, letting all these guys number three with her. Yeah, she's barely in a bra, and she's already got guys unhooking it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> we all know what she did last summer. <laughs> Some nerd who was into indie rock or something dumb. And she was like, so into him, which is so like her. Honestly, I just feel sorry for her. I mean, she just does this stuff to get attention. Because, I mean, without it, she's nobody. Yeah. Hey, let's book. I have a stupid quiz in algebra.
so unbelievably quirky. <laughs> She's like mayor of Planet Frisball. Bad cramps, Mom. Oh, can I get you something? No, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Okay. Good night, honey. Breakfast will be ready in one second, okay? I can't go to school today. Why? What's the problem? Oh, my God. I don't get it. What the hell were you thinking? It was a mistake. God, I screwed up. Yeah, well, you're lucky Lydia was willing to come in early for you. At least now it looks like a choice, so. Not a very good one. Well, I think it's adorable. Thank you so much, Lydia. Really, looks great. Can you move this powder to the Still not going to school. Oh yes, you are going. What's the point? Just to stress me out more? Vanessa, it looks fine. I actually think it looks kind of cool. You would. You are going, okay? Because not going is worse. Do you have any idea how hard it is to have friends that hate you? Yes, I do. Yeah, right. This is gonna be the worst day of my life. It'll be fine. We'll talk about it tonight. You know, 20 years from now, I'm still gonna be telling people how mean you were. Get out of the car, Vanessa. I'll pick you up here at three. I'm fine. Did we have a meeting? No, I'm just a little freaked. Can we go over the budget? Suddenly we're at, what, a million two? Yeah. Okay, what's going on? I didn't want to bother you with this. Bar? What is it? I'm sure that Stacy didn't mean any harm, but she and Nikki have been bullying Vanessa. 
They've started spreading ugly rumors about her, and some of these other girls that she doesn't even know are calling her names. And now Stacy and Nikki won't even let her sit with them during lunch. I, I know it's upsetting, but it's hardly a crisis. <laughs> well, it is to Vanessa. Last night, she chopped off all her hair. Oh, my God. Hasn't Stacy said anything at all to you? I asked her why I hadn't seen Nessa lately, and she said... What? Well, this all started because Vanessa stole her boyfriend. What? Some boy named Tony, I don't know. <sighs> Maybe they both behaved badly here, hmm? Where go today? Fine. Anybody comment about your hair? Everyone, can we please go home now? Did you and Stacy fight about some boy named Tony? Did you get that from Denise? Oh my gosh, Mom, just stay out of my business. It's not your damn problem. Hey, God. watch your tone. Look, Tony asked me out. I said no, but Stacy still got all like pissed off. It wasn't even my fault. It doesn't matter who was at fault anymore, Vanessa. This has just got to stop already. Oh, that was a big help, Mom. Just take me home. Come sit with me. No way. Vanessa, I really don't appreciate being treated this way. Then stop bugging me. Using Tony's screen name, maybe something about her hair. That's lame. I think it's really cool. No one asked me. <sighs> this is Barbara. Miss Jessup. Oh, oh, hi, of course. Hi, Miss Jessup. Is everything all right? 
No, she hasn't been sick. Vanessa? Vanessa! I just talked to your principal. I cannot believe you lied to me. This wouldn't have happened if you just let me stay home. What, you think I was gonna find out? It doesn't even matter, I'm not going back. Hey, wait, come over here. We have to talk about this. Vanessa, Vanessa, stop it. Vanessa, stop, stop it right now, stop. Listen to me. Mom, you don't even know what's going on, okay? Here. Oh my God, your friends wrote this? Not even my friends, Mom, okay? I just, I want to transfer, I want to be homeschooled or something. I'm not going right. back, okay? Vanessa, listen to me, honey. You have to learn how to deal with these issues or you will be running away from them for the rest of your life. Mom, just please give me a week off, okay? Please, I really need a week off right now. Okay, you can stay home tomorrow, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to Miss Jessica. No, you can't talk no, no, to Miss Jessica. No, no, Vanessa, you know what? No, this has gotta stop. Now, right now. abuse? No, nobody hit Vanessa. So we're talking about verbal abuse? Teasing? Taunting? Yeah, don't make it sound harmless, though. I'm sorry. This type of non-physical conflict is common among girls at this age. Unfortunately, there's nothing much we can do. I'm sorry, I don't understand that. I'm sure you can appreciate that we cannot regulate what girls say to each other. Okay, my daughter cannot set foot on this campus now. So I can't believe that you have absolutely no procedures to deal with these kinds of issues. I can switch her class sections. That's not gonna do anything. But I can't take disciplinary actions against a student because she hurt your daughter's feelings. I'm sorry, but in the absence of violence, You don't not consider much... this kind of thing violence? How could you not consider an issue like this violence? I don't understand that. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? You want to tell me about this? What? Did you copy Stacy's English paper? What? No, Mom. Then how do you explain the similarity between them? Oh my God, Mom. She totally copied me. She didn't understand the assignment, so she asked to see my paper, and I, I just sent it to her. See the email date? I sent her my paper like a week before it was due. She copied me. I knew you didn't do it. Yeah, but that didn't stop you from accusing me, did it? Vanessa, I didn't accuse you, honey. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry, honey. It's just everything's been leave so... Leave me alone. We will make sure that Miss Jessica... Get out of my room now! Jess, I'm just going to boot your ass out of school. You know Vanessa's going to burn you. No, she won't. Why? Because she thinks you're still her friend? I am her friend. Don't make me gag. What are you going to do? Nothing. Stace, you can't let her do this to you. I promise you, she won't. The Student Code of Conduct specifically states that using someone else's work as your own without citing the source violates standards of academic integrity and personal responsibility and will not be tolerated. I thought this was an informal session to see if any infraction actually took place. 
Well, no one's accusing anyone here. I just want to make sure the students appreciate the seriousness of the circumstances. I'm certain that they do. I'm only interested in getting at the truth, same as you. Fine. The truth is that my daughter did not... I think we should hear from the girls, don't you? Well, I'd prefer it, Mrs. Snyder. Yeah, of course. Let's hear it from the girls. Stacy, tell Miss Jessup exactly what happened, sweetheart. Okay. Um, I think this is just a horrible misunderstanding. I mean, I didn't understand the assignment, so I asked Vanessa for help. And she was great. She clarified everything, and then we started talking about it, like, in detail. And then we went over it again on the phone, and we thought it'd be cool to do the project together. So we did. When she got sick and didn't show up at school, I just turned my project in, assuming she'd turn hers in when she got back. I mean, it's not like we were cheating or anything. So you're saying you wrote this paper together? Basically, yeah. Vanessa, is that true? Totally. I mean, we were talking about it, so we just decided to write it together. Well, I hope you girls understand that each of you should have put both names on your paper. Absolutely. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, me too. I'm really sorry. Your teacher may decide to dock you a full grade for your mistake, but I see no need to punish you any further. Cool, right? Totally. Nikki, too? Oh, she was just PMSing that day. You have nothing to worry about. You know how much I love you. So, um, we're changing my birthday party to this Saturday. You mean like tomorrow night? Yeah, it was the only time that Nikki's parents could run out the club. I was gonna give you your invite at school, but you haven't really been there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, let's give corrections. Okay, so, Club 1 5? Yeah, and, and it's right yeah, yeah, it's right by, yeah. <laughs> okay, and it's nine-ish? Yeah. Cool. And okay, I'll see you there. Okay. See ya. You know, if your mother wasn't there, she would have routed you out to Jessup. Maybe. And she's gonna, like, hold it over you forever. I know. So, she's in? She's in. <laughs> Gotta spread the word. I think I'm gonna wait around for a little while, okay? What are you doing? I'm gonna go check inside. Um, please don't ruin this for me. I will be right out, honey, okay? Lock the door. Excuse me. 
me. Excuse me. Are you expecting the Larson party tonight? PJ's off tonight. So there's no party? What does it look like to you?
residence of Walter and Claire Snyder. Please leave a message at the sound of the beep, and we'll call you back as soon as we can. Walter, it's Barbara. I'm sorry to call so late. My little girl's in trouble. She's so angry. I just feel so helpless and I don't know what to do. Can you please, please call? Thank you for calling. you so much. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for calling. I love you too, Daddy. Goodbye. Hey, baby. He said he'd fly in if I needed him. Do you want him to come? I said we'd be fine. Mom, I wasn't even trying to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Mom. I love you so much. 
love you too. <laughs> oh my god, she's a druggie too. She's so pathetic. What a freaking loser. I was in the ninth grade. Jennifer Forbes was my Stacy. I spent that whole year so incredibly lonely. It was like half the time she and her friends were pointing and laughing at me, and then the other half, they just didn't pay any attention to me. It was like I was just part of the wallpaper. That's why I pushed your friendship with Stacy, baby, because I figured if you were popular, this could never happen to you. Mom, mommy, why didn't you ever tell me? I know I should have. I should have. I guess I just never dealt with it myself. Being bullied? I guess I was just wishing that you would stand up for yourself, honey. Something I just felt I could never do. I assume most of you've heard the various rumors about what happened to Vanessa Snyder. I heard she slit her wrists. She shot herself. She took an overdose. I guess I'm just wondering if any of you have any feelings about what she did. Um, Vanessa and I have been friends since our whole lives, and I just wish I could have done something to help her. That is such crap. Excuse me, Emily. Stacy drove Vanessa to it. She humiliated her. She practically ran her out of school, and everybody knows it. What? That is such a lie. You've known her what, five minutes? Vanessa and I are incredibly close. Yeah, close enough to kill her. <gasps> All right, that's enough. You know, if you're ducking Moby Dick, you didn't need to go this far. <laughs> Dorky, I know. If you hate it, I won't be offended. You doing okay? Yeah. You're not missing much. The white tornadoes are still destroying everything in their path. You know, I... I really just want to drop it with them. I just don't know how. Truth, you know you're strong, you're pretty, and you're smart. And they hate you for it. It makes them insecure. But if you chop off your hair and destroy your body and dumb down your schoolwork, all you've done is become weak, ugly, and stupid. And that's not you. You're right.
Candy Girl 990, Lola Surf 9, and Ez Mons. Are these your screen names? We take what happened to Vanessa Snyder very seriously. A new policy against this type of student harassment is now being enforced. If you admit to me that you're the cyber bullies, these are your screen names, and you wrote these messages, then you will be suspended for only one week. But if you deny it, and I find out that you're lying, as I will, then I will expel you from school, which means you will not graduate with your class. Last chance. Esmans, Lola Surf 9, and Candy Girl 990. Are these your screen names? So I made an appointment with the psychologist from social services for tomorrow, honey. I have school. Well, you need to go, baby, and I thought it might be a good idea for you to take it easy for a little while. Mom, I can't afford to miss any more classes. Well, I spoke to Miss Jessup, and she's not expecting you back, okay? All your teachers are going to email you your assignments, your classwork. You can even take your finals at home. And Emily says she'll come over and help you study. She seems like a really nice girl, honey. She is nice. Yeah. And you're only going to miss one week of classes. Not a big deal. Okay? You don't have to go back. Mom, I'm going to go back. I'm going to take my exams, and I'm going to finish with the rest of the class. I mean, what am I going to do? Sit in my room and hide all summer? <sighs> Look, you said it yourself. It's not going to get any easier. So I'm going to finally deal with it by myself. Are you sure? Positive. I'm good. Hi, Vanessa. Welcome back. Thank you, Mrs. Donnelly. I hope you all remember that your graphs are due today and your assessment questions one through four. I'm sorry. So we're going over RNA. What is a translation? Come on, look in the book.
So how are you feeling? I'm okay. I really wanted to apologize for the birthday disaster. Can I be totally honest with you? Yeah. I really thought you were mad at me. And I just, I couldn't take someone being mad at me at my birthday party. I just, oh, I wish I could go back, you know? It's the beginning of the school year. Let's start over. I really wanted to visit you at the hospital. But my mom said I had to respect her privacy. It's okay. She was probably right. <laughs> no, I... I was really worried about you. You must have been so freaked. Stacy was so weird. Gotta get to class. Wait, Nessa? Um, well, we're friends, right? We'll always be friends. Best friends. Sure. I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm a little rusty though, but I'm gonna try. That's all right, I totally had no skill. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Coach thinks you're ready to start next game. Really? She's got you down as my wing. Oh, hey, cool. Ness. Oh, hey, Stace. I'll talk to you online tonight. Okay. Tell me you guys aren't cool again. Oh, come on. You know, if you gave it a chance, you'd really get to like her. Oh, yeah. I know she respects you. Now that's scary. Oh, be nice. Come on, shut up. Not to be all corny, but it'd mean a lot to me to go to the after party together. Me too. Be like the perfect finish. <laughs> Your friendship means so much to me. And this year when things were so unstable, I just felt so alone. You're like the only one I can really talk to. Now I really feel like we're best friends again. And it makes me so secure. And to be honest, it's something I've needed since my incident. Flip-flops? <laughs> yeah, flip-flops. You look great. Thank you. So beautiful. Hey, I made early dinner reservations in case you want to go out after. There's a party. Oh, is Emily going with you? I'm going to go with Stacy. 
Mom, we've both been getting along. It'll be okay. Look, I don't want her to be mad at me, and I don't want to be mad at her. I just don't want you to get hurt again. She can't hurt me anymore, Mom. Okay. Can you believe we finally made it? I know. <laughs> this is so great. Yeah, it is. It is. How's she doing? She's doing great. She's fine, thank you. Thanks. I'm so glad. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Bye. <laughs> Gary Sargent. Vanessa Snyder. Congratulations. I'm gonna head home, all right? I love you. You two have a good time tonight, okay? Bye. Come on, we're out of here. Not to be all corny or anything, but it would actually mean a lot to me to go to the party together. Your friendship means so much to me. And this year, when things were so unstable, I just felt so alone, you know? <laughs> now I really feel like we're best friends again. And it just makes me so secure. And to be honest, that's something I've needed since my incident. <laughs> Stacy! 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 Why did you show him that? Don't make such a big deal out of it. I didn't know the stupid bitch would print it out. Don't worry about it, all right? I'll see you at the party. No, you cannot walk away from this. You know, all you've done this year is make my life a living hell. Ness, chill. No, you are so fake. You're annoying, you're rude, and you just... You lie all the time. You're just like Nikki, but even worse. At least everybody knows what to expect from Nikki. Gosh, you make people feel so bad about themselves, Stacy. You have a problem. You live in your own little world. You're so pathetic. You know what? I feel really sorry for you. You are going to regret this. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. Right, like a flesh-eating virus. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm... I'm sorry for whatever I have done to you. Let's just not do this, okay? Come on. No! You have nothing that I want. Give it up for the girl.